Hey, what's up everybody? Tyler from 10 Thumbs. I'm coming at you with another lesson, all right? Today we're gonna to be learning Let It Be by the Beatles, okay? This is a classic, classic song. Kind of a cool history to it with all the drama and the Beatles falling apart and the recordings. It was an excellent, excellent time in the history of the Beatles. Not for the Beatles, but for the Beatles fans. Very dynamic. We're gonna be learning a strummer version, okay? We're gonna be playing with the pick and we're gonna be strumming it like this. Now, as always, check the links below because th these lessons are designed to build on each other and we're developing one too with a more of like a to try to emulate the piano a little more, all right? A finger style lesson. But that lesson's gonna come later. So right now what you need to do is learn the strummer version, okay? But don't worry, we're gonna have all the cool walk downs and movements and breaks. So what do you need? You need your attention span, you need your guitar, and you need your brain. When you have all three of those, Go ahead and follow me into this classic song, all right? All right, so we're going to start with the verse first, okay? For the verse, you're going to need to know the C chord, the G chord, A minor, and the F. Okay? So, the song's gonna start like this. Well, let's do the strum pattern. The strum pattern's gonna go down, a little down, and then a mute, up, down, up. So it looks like this. Slower. On one, on, that repeats itself on each chord, okay? So the first time through, it's gonna go C, G, A minor, F. All right, so let's go through really slow and take a look. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down. That's what I wanna do together, okay? If you have trouble getting this bar chord F, first I encourage you to check the links below. I'll include a video link to help teach you this bar chord. But you can also kind of play an F this way, or even an F minor 7 works. Excuse me, F major 7. It's a little spacey, a little David Bowie, but it works in the context of the song, okay? I'm going to play it with this, practice it with this, but if you can't get it, feel free to switch over to this F, okay? So let's go through this turnaround once together. One, two, three, four. Now this, that, what we just played, is 25% of the verse. Well, technically 50% because this happens twice. But the next time through, we're going to go C, just like the last time, G, just like last time, but instead of going to A minor, I'm going to use an F major 7 and then walk down. Okay, that's a lot, I know. We're going to break it down piece by piece. So let's start with the C, then the G, and then the Okay, so how does that work? The F is kind of like where the first down is. But you're not going to go down, down. You're going to go down, pause. And then, where that strong down is, before the up, down, up, you're going to hit the second note of the D string, open, and then to a C major. So it goes with a little pause, and then you start over, okay? So in the context, it sounds like this. I did a little shaker in there to help it restart, okay? But this is the second half of the verse. And we're gonna put it all together, but I wanna play that again really slow with you guys, okay? So C chord, G chord, F pause, bam, bam, bam. Then we start over, all right? And this is that first turnaround. Back to the C. 
to the G. I'm using a lot of palm on this part right here. It helps me from keeping the other strings ringing out, but I have this finger anchored in that C chord, so if you hit a couple extra strings, it's really just going to add some harmony and not make a very big deal. Okay, so that's the verse. We're doing awesome. We're flying. Now we need to learn the chorus. Same strum pattern, but it's going to go A minor, G, F, C. Let's do that together. One, two, three, four. You can also again play it with the F major, major seven like this. Ooh, man, like this. Okay, but I like that big fat bar chord. I encourage you to click the links below and learn this chord. At some point in your guitar playing, you're going to need to learn it and you're going to see that it's very useful all over. Okay? Now, that's the first turnaround in the in the chorus. The second turnaround is exactly or the same as the second turnaround of the verse. So if we walk through the whole thing, it goes A minor, G, F, C, back to C, G, and then and then back to the verse. itself again and then you go back into the chorus all right buy the song listen to it listen to it listen to it the best way to learn a song is listen to it over and over and over again all right we also have a little all right so this is going to be fifth fret E string sixth fret B string slide your index finger down a whole step your ring finger down one step so we have three and five, one and three, open on the E and one here. Now I'm on, with my middle finger, I'm on the G string and my pointer finger is out on the B string now and it's going to be three here, I'm sorry, four here and three here. Same shape, same shape, a whole step, two and one. Double open, then you're going to move up strings again, and this time it's going to be three right here on your D string, two on your G string, on your G string, move this one off, zero, and this one down to two. All right, the whole thing. little motion repeats itself twice but here on the two sometimes I resolve that with a big fat C chord all right because in the song this C note is played by the bass but we don't have a bass player so if we play it like that it sounds like this oops like this itself twice. If you want to play the solo, it's really just in the key of C major pentatonic, alright? So have some fun with that. I'm not going to be teaching that in this lesson, but I will in a future lesson, okay? There's the first phrase if you want to figure that out. Alright, let it be! Okay, let it be. Now you have it on the guitar. Now you can play a Beatles song. This is one that... Okay, I live in Buenos Aires, and I watch people play in the street, and no matter who's singing, who's playing, the quality, people always pay for Beatles songs. People love the Beatles. You go to a campfire, you sing the song, people are gonna know the words, all right? So this is an excellent song to know and an excellent to have in the bag. If this helped you, I know I have more videos that'll help you too. So as always, subscribe and keep on learning, all right? Also check us out on Facebook, 10 Thumbs Production. We have an active community over there. We're exchanging ideas, talking about music, 
and, and discussing how video killed the radio star. Alright? Okay, so until next time, keep on keeping on, keep on playing, and we're happy to help you here at Ten Thumbs Productions.